Terra Luna Classic continues to look, well, very good, actually. Terra Luna Classic is leading the cryptocurrency market right now. It is sustaining levels, and it's sustaining gains that we've seen over the last couple of days, despite everything going on in the crypto world. Binance is being sued by the SEC. Coinbase is being sued by the SEC. The SEC doesn't want cryptocurrency in the United States. The SEC wants to control the world. I mean, this is really like some sort of a pinky in the brain type of a moment here, and uh, Gary Gensler kind of reminds me of, well, does Gary Gensler remind you guys of Pinky or the Brain? And uh, I'm going to go with Pinky on this one. But nonetheless, regardless of all that stuff, we're going to be talking about Terra Luna Classic in this video. We're going to be talking about the the repeg of USTC, what it would mean to the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem, how we get there, and of course, if this third quarter budget is passed for the Layer 1 development team, we are going to be basically knocking on the door of a USTC repeg. Let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, if you guys are holding on those exchanges, it's considered a loan to those exchanges. And with all of the risk of the SEC right now, if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Guys, Terra Luna Classic's actually done very well, up roughly 20 to 25% <clears throat> over the last couple of days, going from around 8,000 points per coin up to 10,000 points per coin, actually touching 11,000, basically 200. Pulling back a little bit as traders take their profits. We understand that's what they're going to do. And you have to keep in mind, anytime a trader is, is buying and selling and buying and selling, it may not be good for the long-term price action. But it increases volume, and increased volume is going to increase burns and, and increase more volatility, and, and it perpetuates this cycle. So it is okay to have these traders on board right now, even though they may not be committed to the long-term growth of Terra Luna Classic as you and I are, they are still necessary because they're the ones that are going to be burning Terra Luna Classic, and they're the ones that are going to be contributing to the community pool for Terra Luna Classic. So awesome, man. Let them do so. Now look, USTC repegging to to five cents, ten cents, two cents, a dollar, you know, whatever. You you name the price out there. That doesn't necessarily matter as much because a stable coin is going to bring value to the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. Now I'm going to read a little bit about what this proposal for the Layer 1 development team says about repegging USTC because the third quarter is seemingly going to be all about testing USTC repeg ideas, which is, which should be, let me put it, not is, but which should be phenomenal. If they are able to accomplish something, if they are able to get close, if they are able to figure out how to repeg USTC, I mean, dude, how do we not win at that point? You know, how do we not win with a stable coin in the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem? And uh, one that will potentially not death spiral and, and cause Terra Luna Classic to print trillions of coins again, but hopefully one that has some parameters on there that doesn't allow that to occur. The proposal says a USTC working group will be formed consisting of the Layer 1 team, a newly hired part-time quant, and community contributors to test various concepts and ideas with the goal of recapitalizing and eventually restoring USTC. Additionally, the Layer 1 task force will collaborate with major stakeholders, including centralized exchanges, to evaluate possible incentive programs similar to what, what is in place for currently for Binance, with them burning a small percentage of on-chain trading fees, that can be utilized alongside the creation of a USTC repeg mechanism. Currently, ongoing discussions with exchanges are taking place regarding Redline Drifter's divergence tax strategy. 
If the centralized exchanges choose not to proceed with Redline Drifter's proposal, an alternative strategy that does not require direct centralized exchange involvement will be developed. However, if the centralized exchanges adopt Redline Drifter's proposal, the Layer 1 Task Force aims to implement the tax divergence strategy. For the third quarter, the Layer 1 Task Force team members will include Till, Shi, Vin, Gebic, and a part-time quant to be recruited on an as-needed basis to review suggested concepts and proposed approaches for USTC, and they will be managed by Lunkburn Army. We are proactively posting this proposal to allow for time to recruit and hire a part-time quant Consult prior uh, consult or consultant, sorry, prior to the start of the third quarter. And then it goes through a lot of the stuff that we read through yesterday and talked about their roadmap and so on. Here's the deal, guys. You know, any strategy, and, and this focuses heavily on Redline Drifter's strategy right here because it is one of the latest USTC repeg ideas to, to be proposed by the Terra Luna Classic community and be approved by the Terra Luna Classic community. I will say this, okay, this is not to be pessimistic or, or you know, Debbie Downer or whatever you want to call it, but any, any proposal to repeg or manipulate or manually move the price of USTC or any other cryptocurrency for that matter, in my opinion, is basically non-existent in the chances that it passes centralized exchanges. Why? The SEC and, and global regulators right now are looking at centralized exchanges under a microscope. Anything that could be interpreted as, as market manipulation or price manipulation would just compound problems for these centralized exchanges. My best guess is that we are going to have to do this without the help of centralized exchanges. Now, I don't know if that means that USTC is going to be delisted. I don't know what that means for the price of USTC in the short term. But if you expect a centralized exchange to manually manipulate a price higher, and I know that that might be a harsh term. Technically, it wouldn't be, well, technically it is manipulation because you are, you're moving the price, the direction that you want to move it. But regardless, if it is in a gray area, I highly doubt that centralized exchanges are going to be willing to do so right now. And the problem is, it's not just one centralized exchange that needs to get on board. It's not just like we can go over to Singapore and find some, you know, obscure little exchange that's going to jump on board with a USTC, Terra Luna Classic, Repeg, Parity type deal, and, and that's all we're going to need. We need any and every exchange to do it. Otherwise, massive arbitrage opportunities are going to exist, and then, of course, we're going to have problems where depegging can occur and so on, very similar to what we had in the past. That does not mean that they are going to give up. Clearly, they stated if Redline Drifter's proposal is not adopted by centralized exchanges, they're going to pivot, they're going to move, and, and they're going to figure out something that will work. So I am optimistic. These guys are hopefully smart working on the Terra Luna Classic blockchain, and they're hopefully, I, got, I guess, got the best interest of not just USTC, but Terra Luna Classic in mind as well. At the end of the day, here's what it boils down to. I don't hold any USTC. I don't necessarily care if the price of USTC rises. Here's what the deal is, though. A stable coin where an algorithm absolutely works and is fail-proof or foolproof or whatever you want to call it, even if we have to, you know, fork or create a new coin that would be create or would be considered a stable coin, as opposed to 50x increasing the value of USTC, that may be something that we need to look at, and, and maybe an alternative path that we need to go down. Either way, I think that it can happen, and I think that these guys can make it happen. I want to know what you think down in the comments below. Will USTC be repegged and Terra Luna Classic get that stable coin once again? Let us know what you think. And of course, if that button right there is still red. Make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro 883 everywhere. 6 and 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.